Hi, and welcome to the advanced spreadsheet tutorial section. You'll notice this time that the spreadsheet we're going to use has a lot more pupils in it. That's so that when we get into some, some of the more complex analysis, you can start to see how it'll be a bit more useful. What we're going to learn how to do first is something called a VLOOKUP, which will look at the pupils' test score here and calculate what grade that's worth in column G. Now, to do that, I'm going to need to use this worksheet that I've set up called Grade Data. And what I've done in columns A and B is put the minimum score required for each grade. Now you must include U there, otherwise you'll just get not available data on your spreadsheet. And I'm going to name this, if I highlight those cells, as a range. So I'll highlight the cells, and then in the name box, I'm going to call this Grades. So, excuse me, I've got caps lock on. There we go. And once I've done that, I'm going to press enter. You'll see why we've done that very shortly. If you're wondering what this is, we're going to use this bit when we go to look for and calculate point scores for each grade. Let's go back to results now. And we're going to insert a VLOOKUP function. Once again, if it's not in your most recently used, hit more functions and choose all. Pop that down there, press the V key to get to the V functions, there's my VLOOKUP. Okay, now the wizard starts. Lookup value, this is what cell do you want me to look at? So I want you to look at test score, which is E2. Table array, that was the range I just created called grades. So you'll see that now that I finish typing that name, it, it knows to have a look column index number. Now if you remember the scores, test scores were in column A which it thinks of as column 1 and the grades were in column B which it thinks of as column 2 so I'm going to put 2 there because I want it to look up the grade next to the relevant number and this is a range lookup, it's looking between two values, it's not looking for a particular one so range lookup you would put true. So it thinks that 32 should be worth an F click OK. Let's just go and verify that. Grade data 30 above 30 is an F. So yes, that's right. Now we go back to results and we'll auto fill that down. There we go. And it adds in our grades. Good stuff. Let's just do that one more time. Um, for predicted points. So what we're going to do now is look at the predicted grade and bring back a points value. So what I'm going to need to do is go to grade data. This time I'm going to use these scores, this data here. I'm going to call this one points, like so, and press enter. Back to results. insert my VLOOKUP. This time it's in most recently used because it was the last one I did. Now what am I looking up this time? I'm looking up their predicted grade. Table array this time is going to be called points. Column index. Again I'm looking up in the second column of that um, table array and range this time is false because it's not a range. It's just one point score per grade. Click OK. So a D, it says, is worth four points. It's predicted that if he gets a D, he should get four points. We can repeat the process for actual points, except looking at grade and actual points, and then you can start calculating value added. I'll just pause this and come back to it once I've put the V lookups in there, and then I'll show you how to calculate value added. Okay, now I've filled in my formulas here you can see that pupil A was predicted four points, they actually got two points. So it's a very simple process to work out their actual points, subtract their predicted points to work out their value added. There we go. Just center those. And from there you might even be able to put an average in to work out the average value added. 
it's now up to you which way you look at the data. So go and have a go at writing VLOOKUPs and I'll see you in the next tutorial.